Hello friends and what's up and welcome back to my channel. I was not expecting to film this video, but I was like, I might as well sit down and film it. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I've just been busy with school, but today's video is going to be about my hair coloring process journey. Um, as you can see, I have natural black hair and my ends are blonde and I felt like this video could be helpful for those of you who have never colored your hair before and you're thinking about doing it. And I thought that maybe me telling you about my journey, like you could learn from a few of my mistakes and also my hairstylist, previous hairstylist mistakes. Um, I'm also, I like to point out that I am not a hairstylist, like I am not I've never colored hair before. Um, that's why I go to the professionals, but even the professionals can mess up your hair. And we will talk about that as we get through the video. I will be putting pictures up of my hair um, throughout the past three years and what it's looked like and the color and the process of it. Um, and I will be flipping my hair around a lot today in this video, so it might look a little bit crazy as I go through this video, but please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's just get started. I started coloring my hair three years ago, um, beginning of 2020, and that was when I was about to start my master's degree at USF. Um, I decided that I wanted to change with my hair. My hair was fully just this color of black, and I also kind of went through something with a certain individual and he just did me wrong and I just felt so down and so depressed um, that I wanted to change my hair color. And I honestly feel like that was actually a really good choice for me at the time. Um, I have no regrets about doing that at the time. And yeah, thank God I dodged a bullet with that guy. But yeah, I decided to go blonde. I won't name previous hairstylists just because I don't want to be disrespectful, but I do want to talk about what they did right and what they did wrong. So I went to my hairstylist that was cutting my hair at the time. She was cutting my hair for a little over a year and she knew that I had virgin black hair, but I wanted to go to her because I just felt comfortable and I felt like she knew my hair and my hair texture and the density of it. Um, now, every hairstylist, in my opinion, I thought that they knew how to color hair, that they knew how to do blonde hair. I was not right about that, but she was like, absolutely, I can get you to be a blonde. Now, I will show a picture of the first time we colored my hair. It looked really pretty. We decided to do sort of a balayage, very similar to what I have right now with my hair, where it's like black and then some brown. Um, I'll do a close up some black, some brown, and then blonde. But the blonde was not this kind of color blonde. It was sort of like a yellowy caramel blonde. And it wasn't the blonde that I wanted. And I think it turned out that way because she didn't let my hair sit long enough with the bleach. And that kind of you know, disappointed me, not right away, but as the weeks progressed and went on, my hair was brassing up and it was turning yellow orange. And I will show you that. And mind you, this is before COVID. So when COVID hit, we could not go to salons, right? We, we had to wait a little bit of time to go to a salon. And my hair was just an oily, brassy, yucky color until I was able to get an appointment with her, she was able to glaze it, but even in glaze, it still didn't look pretty. We went back again to the salon a couple months later, and when she did my balayage, she, um, they use like a technique where it's like they tease your hair. So they pick certain strands, they'll tease it, and then they'll put like the foils. Um, so she did that again. And it, it started looking better, but it wasn't what I wanted. And I had told her, I was like, look, I wanna be a full blonde. Like, not just a balayage, but full blonde. And she was like, okay. She was making me blonde as we were going. But the problem is, like, <laughs> like there was certain parts of my hair that it was like 
a yellow blonde and then it was like this kind of, kind of color blonde like a platinum blonde so it wasn't matching up and i was like i don't understand why there's multiple shades of blonde in my hair um when i did confront her about like oh, there's like a black piece right there. There's no blonde in it. It's all black. Like what's what's going on there? Um, she had told me like she personally messed up with the technique that she used in teasing my hair and that she needed to stop doing that. Uh, so I was like, okay. She admitted that she messed up coloring my hair. Um, did she reimburse me? No. She just did another technique and tried to figure out what would work with my hair. Now, oh, this is the part where I'm like, I, I get so like annoyed. I was about to graduate with my master's. And I remember one day I was in the living room with my roommate and I was sitting down on the couch and my hair was like this, like that. I, I always typically do this. Like I'll like pull it like that between the middle and just part it to the front like that. And I was sitting on the couch like this and my roommate looks at my hair and she says, Sophia, your hair is not finished. I was like, what do you mean my hair is not finished? She's like, the back of your hair is not finished. So she took a photograph and, and hopefully I have it of the back of my hair with it being parted down the middle and there was literally strands of blonde strands of black hair strands of blonde strands of black hair like it was just parted black blonde black blonde it looked so ugly and i always parted my hair so i was like oh my god is that how people see the back of my head it looks so unfinished it looked it wasn't evened out so i reached out to this stylist and i was like hey you know my hair in the back is actually not finished i even sent her the pictures I was like, I'm very upset how my hair is looking right now. And I graduate in just a couple weeks. And I just can't go to graduation with my hair looking like this. Her response to me was like, well, I can't kind of get you in in those weeks. Like I'm booked, um, but I can redirect you to a stylist that specializes in blondes. That's the part that pissed me off. One. Your client's saying you fucked up your like you fucked up their hair and you're not going to fix it. I'm telling you I have a big event coming up and you're not going to squeeze me in somewhere to fix it. Two, she says, "Oh, I will direct you to somebody that does blondes." I thought you did blondes. <laughs> That's why I was coming to you and saying I wanted to be blonde. So, you were just messing with my hair and trying to figure out what you could do and get money out of me. So I was like, all right, I'm done. I looked for a salon nearby my area in Tampa and I found one less than five minutes away from my, my place, had good reviews and I went there, like I called, I was like, hey, you know, I was wondering if I could do a consultation with somebody that can um, color hair and, and do blonde. And they're like, absolutely, you know, you wanna see Dakota. I accidentally mentioned the name of the person that uh, I was supposed to name, but she, but she's great. Um, I was like, okay, great. I came in free consultation with this person and she looked at the back of my hair. She was like parting it and parting it and parting it. And she was like, yeah, the back of your hair is not done. The front of your hair is the top of your hair is the back. This whole back section is not done. Like she didn't touch it. She's like, I can fix the back of your hair. Like, it's not a problem. She's like, all I gotta do is just grab those black sections. I gotta thread them out and then put them on foil. So I can get the back of your hair. That's not a big deal. So I ended up going to her. She fixed the back of my hair and she was able to make me a solid blonde because she even said, you are multiple shades of blonde, my dear. Like several shades of blonde. This is not okay for a hairstylist to do that to you. So. We worked for a good bit trying to get my hair to, excuse me, to a solid blonde color. And she was phenomenal. Now, I had to move to another stylist at that salon because she got a job somewhere else. Um, no, she didn't get a job somewhere else. Like she got like a teaching, like, like a hairstylist teaching gig and at a college. So 
she had to give some of her clients to other employees in the salon. So she says, you know, I'm going to give you um, Courtney. So I can mention Courtney because Courtney's fabulous. So Courtney uh, ends up becoming my stylist and she starts making me one solid blonde color. I was loving how my hair was coming out. It was actually pretty long and we were doing great until I moved to Texas. This is where it gets bad. I moved to Texas and I have to find another stylist because I need to keep coloring my hair. Now, when I was going to Courtney, I was coming in about every three months to color my hair because I wanted my hair to grow out, be healthy, and we needed that. We needed hair growth. Now, I came to a stylist in Texas. I made the mistake of I saw one salon and I picked one salon and I went with it. And the reason that I went with this salon was because it was close to TCU. That's why I picked the salon. I was like, oh, they're right next to TCU. And, you know, um, it'll be easy. I can just walk there and get my hair done. Uh, that was a mistake. The other thing was I was like, oh, I need a stylist that can color my hair and do blondes or something like that. And they were like, oh, well, you need this person. Um, I won't name her. And that's the problem too. Sometimes I'm like, why are you giving me that person? Can they specifically do blondes? It's not like, yes, everybody here can color hair, but can they turn this dark hair into this color blonde, like all the way, no problem. So I started going to this person and when she was coloring my hair, she said to me, she's like, do you wanna be silver? like a platinum, like this is now becoming silver. And I was like, can we do that? Can we be, can I be silver? Um, because I've had other stylists tell me, uh, I cannot be silver. Uh, the first hairdresser that I went to told me I could not go silver. And she was like, absolutely. I can make you silver. It's not a, not a problem. Now I had a couple inches of growth out and that's what we had bleached. So my thinking was she was going to bleach all this make it silver, tone it silver, and pull the rest down to the ends of my hair. She didn't do that. She went with the like couple inches that I had, and then she pulled it this way, and then it cut off like that. So the rest was not mixed in. Like it was a yellow blonde, and then this is like silver blonde. So it wasn't evened out properly my hair was breaking. Uh, I did not experience my hair breaking in Florida. And when I saw my hair breaking here, I was like, that's odd. My hair was breaking in the back. So like this, this piece right here, this was broken. This has grown out quite a bit, but it was like this small. So I noticed that piece was broken. This side, piece here was broken. I will show you all my broken pieces as we go through the video, but I noticed these back pieces were breaking and I was like, that's very odd. Why is my hair breaking? I went in another time. Uh, the last time I went to get my hair done, like colored by the stylist was in February of 2023. And we hit the root, like all the way to the root. Um, when she did that, yeah, like my hair was silver blonde, but again, my ends were not silver blonde. So my hair was not looking like one solid color and it was bothering me. The problem was when she bleached my hair to the root, I had like about less than an inch of growth and her salon was constantly pushing me to come in every four to six weeks to color my hair to the root. So a lot of people's hair can grow that fast. My hair doesn't grow that fast. And one time when I went in the salon around week three after I colored my hair, so I colored my hair, then three weeks happened and I had to get a haircut. She saw, like my hair was, my black hair was barely grown out. Like you could barely see it. She was like, oh yeah, we can't color your hair at four weeks. And I'm like, then why is your salon pushing? Like they had called me and been like, yeah, you're almost at your four week point. We need to get you in to color your hair. I'm like, 
dude, my hair is not even grown out and you want me to come in at week four? No. Um, and even at week, week six, I was like, that's too early. Um, for them, I was like pushing week seven, week eight, like that's basically two months, almost two months. And for them, they were like, oh no, that, that's too much. That'll, that'll have banding. But I'm like, Courtney used to do it. Courtney would let me wait every three months because your hair has to grow. You have to let it heal. You have to let it grow. Even if there's a little bit of banding, the, the hairstylist, they will fix it. When I mean banding, a little bit of like yellow or kind of orange because of the heat of the hair growing will pop up in the roots. But the stylist will fix it. It's their job to fix it. So they're like, oh, no banding will happen. I don't give a flip, okay? Like you're supposed to fix it. You're the stylist. And week six, that's just too soon to color hair. But I was pushing it to week seven and they were giving me like dirty looks by then coming in at week seven. Cut to February was the last time I went because when we colored it to the root, literally the week after I washed my hair, and yellow orange banding popped up and i will show a photo of it um so i contacted the salon and i was like oh i think it was like a week and then two weeks and i had to like leave for florida and come back um so it was like about two ish three weeks that i saw just yellow banding it was really noticeable and i contacted the salon and i was like hey this just happened with my hair i washed it only twice what the heck they like they let me come in and everything they looked at it and they were like yeah it's it's just banding we just need to go back to the bowl and kind of tone you again but it's gonna cost you 60 dollars now that i think about it 60 dollars to tone me is a bunch of bullshit. excuse me but it is like i think toning is 20 40 bucks and they charge me 60 dollars to tone it um even once we toned it it looked fine the week after I washed my hair and it turned yellow orange again. So that was a waste of $60 that I threw down the drain. I will also admit this, that when I was in Florida and the second stylist was coloring my hair and my hair would do some crazy things. Like when she started blow drying, she could see that it was turning orange, which it did happen. She right away sent me back to the bowl and we started toning my hair again and she didn't charge me for that she saw what was going on when she was blow drying my hair and she was like ah uh -uh, we gotta hit the bowl back because your hair is turning orange and she went and she fixed it and there was no buts no ifs no nothing she did her job so the salon over here in fort worth had a stick up their butts and i wrote a review a very like <laughs> a review that told the truth and they didn't like the truth and I gave their salon a three star out of five, which I don't think was bad. Um, but apparently a couple days later after they saw that review, they emailed me, they didn't call me, they emailed me and they canceled my appointment. And they were like, we feel that we have done enough with your hair, that you're, you know, we're just not meeting you or what you, with what you want. And you're also, you have a low budget. Like they said something about like, me not having enough money and i'm like dude i would pay a quarter of the price in florida and get what i want and i'm paying more money for you guys and i'm not getting what i want so i'm not the problem you are, your salon's the problem uh i went back to that salon and i ended up changing it to a one-star review uh you are more than welcome to find that review if you find the salons near tcu i will admit their salon did move and I will move that review to their new salon location and put update. My Florida stylist fixed my hair. Um, but because of that, my hair started breaking. Um, and it kind of sucked. And I had to wait till I came back to Florida to see Courtney again for Courtney to fix my hair. So I'm going to show you guys what's going on with my hair. I'm going to flip it so many areas. So as you can see, all of this is black. And my thing with Courtney, I told her, I was like, look, let's just let my hair grow back to black. It needs to heal and it needs to grow and it's breaking. So we are probably going to end the blonde era as much as I love the blonde hair. 
we are going to end the era because I now live in Texas and Courtney lives in Tampa, Florida and she can't be doing my hair every three months. I can't be flying out to Florida. Yes, I could be finding another stylist in Texas to do my hair, but that's it. Like that's already enough work. I had to go through one stylist in Florida who screwed my hair up, another stylist who fixed it, but then moved on. Then I find Courtney, then I come to Texas, and then I get that stylist that breaks my hair off. So then to find another stylist that will say, yes, they do blondes and they don't do blondes. And then my hair gets whacked up again. So I think I will go back to Courtney during break. I will ask Courtney to color all this back to black. Um, so then my hair will just be black and we are going to let her grow and do her thing because the blonde pieces, when you get really close, you can see the damage in the hair. And I will show you that right now. So these pieces right here they're small they're not bad um when courtney saw me in june july when i went back to florida she was like oh my god the back of your hair she's like there's banding it's like this much orange she was like that is so disrespectful that they let you walk out of that salon with banding in the back um so she saw it. My my other my like it had to take my other stylist in Florida to acknowledge what another hairstylist had done. So she was like, "There's that much banding done to the back of your hair." Now let me show you the damage. Um, so this is my top piece. I typically always flip my hair this way. So let me flip it, and I will show you. Then these pieces. See how long my hair is. These pieces started to break off in half like look at this black hair and then a little bit of silver compared to all that like longer hair pieces here then here as well short pieces like so short pieces at the top of my hair like on the side here as well like you could literally i can't even flip my hair down the middle anymore like it, it looks so bad i can't like like especially this, like I'm so, I keep saying like, sorry, but like, oh Jesus Christ. So look at these front pieces, like how, like how short this is. Like I never seen these pieces this short ever in my life. And I know, I oh, I remember like one of the stylists, uh, the stylist here in Fort Worth was like, oh, you want like bangs? Do you want me to do bangs? Cause she knew like she messed up um, with the, the color and the cut. And I'm like, no, I don't want bangs. I don't want bangs in my hair. No, it's gonna look bad. So um, when I went to Florida back with Courtney, and Courtney saw the mess that was done to my hair by stylist here in Fort Worth. She and I agreed, let's let it grow back. She was able to sort of blend this together and make it a little bit brown. It's kind of gone now because it's faded. And then the rest was blonde. Uh, we let the blonde pieces be. And... I think when I go back to Florida, I'm going to have to say, all right, Courtney, we're going to have to just color it back to black. And it looks okay sometimes, but in person, I promise you, you can really tell how damaged my ends are. And you can see it because it's blonde. So, um, yeah. And Courtney made me like really assy, ass, assy. Courtney made me a uh, really ashy silver, which I liked. So my hair didn't brass up, uh, which was this, the, 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 which was the problem that I had with the first stylist is, is my hair was brassy, just really, really brassy. She didn't know how to make me blonde. Courtney knows how to do blondes. Um, you have to find a stylist that if you want to be blonde and you have this color black hair, you have to find somebody like, ask that person like can i see your social media and do you have photographs and that you've taken of other clients for like befores and afters because i need to see what their hair looked like before and the transition afterwards um that was my mistake and i and i should have done that with 
the stylus here in Texas. Um, I should have done that with the stylus in Florida, my first one. And I didn't, um, you know, they basically did what they wanted with my hair and said, oh, well, this is all your hair can handle. And it's not true. How is it that I could get another stylist to do what I needed? Um, and she didn't break my hair. Another stylist broke my hair. And do you think she is paying for it? No, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. Um, hence why I'm going to end up moving that review from the new location because they changed their name now too they used to be a different name like the salon i will find the new one and i will put it in the new location and see like i just don't care you broke my hair so yeah i'm that petty <laughs> so i hope that this video was somewhat informative about my hair journey process and i hope that this was helpful for some of you if you want to color your hair. Um, you should if you want a change in your life, but also understand that it's expensive. Like because of inflation prices now, uh, the cost of coloring hair has gone up and it's not what it used to be. It's like when you're getting your nails done, like getting your nails done now is like $80 compared to when I used to pay $25 back in the day. It, it's just not worth it and it's not worth me paying and then my hair breaking like that so yeah uh just realize that that it's a lot of money that goes in every single month uh not every single month you shouldn't be going every single month you should be going every few months and um it's a maintenance that you have to do and it's time out of your day that you're sitting in a chair for a couple hours so yeah well that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on the next one.